City, and that's where we have it. Our display here is to celebrate our trees and our festival of trees today. Uh, so before I get into what we're going to do today, I just want to introduce our mayor and our assemblyman, Mayor Alan Beach and Brian Curran. Let everyone say well, mayor. Let everyone see Want to jump down here and say something? More than welcome. Okay, Brian, I know. This is very exciting for this day. This is very exciting. This is something that we've been, we've been building a tree forest here for the urban forest uh, for 40 years now. Phil, if I could take one thing. You know what? Tree, uh, Lumberg has been in Tree City for what did you say? 40, 40 years. years now. And I have to tell you, there was one of the biggest reasons why it's Tree City is because of him being the head of the DBW and us having the best DBW everywhere on this island. So, yes. 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 <laughs> we, we plant over 200 trees a year and we keep on going. So, if you want a tree, you know where to call. Um, so we have a lot of things today. We have our, our dancers, we have some people to sing, but I'd like to start it off with Paul from our DPW, Joyce Pilgrim. Trees by Joyce Kilmer. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowering chest. A tree that looks at God all day and lift, lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair upon whose bosom snow has lain, whose intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Happy Arbor Day, everybody. So our next, uh, next part of Arbor Day is Antonio from our Recreation Department, dance instructor, and you're on. All right. Arbor Day, it's Arbor Day. Let's plant a tree today. Let's make the earth a better place. So plant a tree we made. Arbor Day, this Arbor Day, let's save a tree today. Use less paper and cardboard, we really can't delay. Arbor Day, it's Arbor Day, let's plant a tree today. They are beautiful, give oxygen and cool us off with shade. Arbor Day, this Arbor Day, let's save a tree today, save energy, recycle on each and every day. Yes, 
love. I planted it with dirt. And when I get home, I'm going to put water on it so it grows. I really like this tree because it, because I see a little acorn. It's cute. And I like it because it's big. And I like trees. My name is Theo, and I planted this tree with dirt. And I pressed it down firmly. Uh, I'm going to give it water when I get home. And I chose this tree because it looks like it has a lot of potential to grow really big. Hi, my name is Natalia. And I, was, I love to dance at, at the dance studio. So now... I just planted a tree, and now I hope it grows. Hi, I'm Phil Healy, Superintendent of Public Works for the Village of Limbrook, and this is Arbor Day in Limbrook, uh, 2024. It's our 40th year of being a tree city, recognized by the National Arbor Day Foundation. And to be a tree city, there has to be a commitment both uh, regulatory-wise in our ordinances and funding uh, by the mayor and the board and uh, operations. Uh, we have to have a certain commitment to it, which the village has done for over 40 years now. And we're going into our fifth, getting ready for our fifth decade of, of, of being a tree city. So we, we hope that uh, we can achieve that. Currently, we plant over 200 trees a year of various varieties, but we're trying to always find the right tree for the right place. Um, that would be a lot of the cherry trees that we have some on display here today. And uh, smaller trees, the right things that don't lift sidewalks, that won't interfere with your driveway and still give you the aesthetic value we're looking for the street. It's really important to make that commitment, especially nowadays with the climate change and the hotter summers, and, and uh, it's really important to have trees around, not only for oxygen, but just for, just for beauty and aesthetics and keeping us close to nature as much as we can. Our displays today show some of the trees that we have, some of the interesting books that are around on, on trees, if you're interested, they, they, great reading, great read on those. So we had the Arbor Day celebration today. We had our singers, we are having singers and dancers, and it's a great community event and we hope to grow on it every year going forward. The reason we have Arbor Day events, you know, first let me tell you what Arbor Day is about. It's from Morton Arboretum, Morton, uh, I forget his first name, but about 180 years ago after the great incidents of the Great Plains drying out during, during the years, and uh, the effort was to replant trees nationwide. So then uh, Morton, and they started the planting and that was the initiative back in the 1850s to, to get trees planted again throughout the Great Plains and stop the deforestation of the area. And you can see nowadays, 100, 150 years, 200 years later, uh, the amount of trees out, out there. But we still have to plant more. Uh, on Long Island here, we were a little bit uh, losing a lot of canopy. Uh, so the effort again is to be advocates for tree planting. Um, why we do Arbor Day in Limbrook, you know, it's it's funny how, looking back over, over years and how you, how you become affiliated with trees and my, my personal history is back when I was four or 14 years old, either uh, falling out of trees or planting apple trees on a local apple farm out east. And that's how I started in the whole deal. Just in closing, you know, again, I'm with the Department of Public Works, which is about uh, approaching its 100th anniversary also in a few years. Um, I believe we'll be, in two years, we'll be 100 years old. The Public Works Department, servicing the village of all types of work. And one of them, again, uh, is tree planting. And um, it's just happy it's Arbor Day. The trees should be respected. The trees should uh, have a place for us. And it's just as valuable as a street light. It's another part of the infrastructure that, that requires care and maintenance 
and uh, I think nowadays uh, we're focused on that and we know the importance of it. So, happy Arbor Day.